Hey guys, welcome back to another Beast Form Simulator video. Now in today's video, I will be breaking down the Festive Frenzy Hall and what it would normally cost to craft everything in it, so you can see if the 4.5k Robux is worth it. Now, I know a lot of you guys were probably expecting the um, when to convert comparison, like test video, as blue. Uh, but that's being pushed back until after I get Tide Popper, because, you know, a lot of the boost items, purple potions, cool extracts, I need them for Tide Popper as well, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to get Tide Popper first, and then probably do the experiment after, and then... Um, I'll probably do an, uh, an experiment with and without Tide Popper as well, so you get uh, the most information. But, yeah, aside from that, there's also going to be less uploads on the channel because uh, there's just not that much content at the moment. Content's really slowed down, especially until Beesmas Part 2 is going to come out. I don't have much content to work with, so guys, suggest uh, some guides in the comments, like... Uh, I'll be happy to make some guys that I feel are especially worth it to players of all skill levels. So, yeah, um, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so, here we have, uh, these are all the craftable items, uh, 25 swelled wax, 25 purple potions, 25 glitter, 10 super smoothies, and 1000 gumdrops. And we also have the non-craftable items, the gift of mythic egg, the one and a half thousand tickets, five festive planters, five festive beans, and ten million honey. So this is everything in the bundle right here. Now, um, so first of all, got 25 swelled wax. That ends up becoming 150 purple potions, 225 soft wax, 75 hard wax, and 83,325 royal jelly that's quite a lot of royal jelly that you're getting there uh well technically because that's uh how much it would cost to craft all that swelled wax now we can see we've got purple potions here and purple potions here so just add them together we're now at 175 and that ends up becoming 525 of neon berries red extracts blue extracts and blue okay next we've got glitter that ends up becoming 625 Moon Charms and 25 Magic Beans. Uh, the smoothie, Super Smoothies, they are 30 Neon Berries, 30 Star Jellies, 30 Purple Potions, and 60 uh, Tropical Drinks. I'm not going to be breaking down the cost of the Tropical Drinks or Star Jellies because I am lazy. Now, oh, we've got more pur Purple Potions. So let's add them on, and we now have this much, 615 of each of these rather than what we had before which was 525. We now have 615 of all of these. So now we've got the gumdrop materials uh, from the 1000 gumdrops. We get 3000 blueberries, strawberries and pineapples. So that's 9000 fruits total just to craft those gumdrops. Now, now we get a look at the glue from the purple potions. Now this is going to be huge. 30,750 gumdrops and 6,150 royal jellies. The royal jellies isn't that much, but that's a lot of gumdrops, if you couldn't tell. And you can then further take the gumdrops into how much it costs in uh, fruits, which is 92,250 of each of these fruits, or 276,750 total fruits, which is a lot. That is a ridiculous amount of fruit. And now let's look at the extracts. Uh, well, so with the extracts, each of those uh, are 30,750 of their fruits, so either strawberries or blueberries, and another 6,150 uh, royal jellies for each, which is still quite a lot of uh, fruits there that you're having being used on these extracts. So now, with all this information, we can just add together all of the like final results and we get this. Uh, all of the craftable items, except for the star jellies and tropical drinks, because I was lazy, and also the waxes, I guess, is 225 soft wax, 75 hard wax, 645 neon berries, 625 moon charms, 25 magic beans, 30 star jellies, 60 tropical drinks, 126,000 blueberries, 126,000 strawberries, 95,250 uh, pineapples, and 101,775 royal jellies. 
plus all of these other items, which is the gifted mythic egg, one and a half thousand tickets, five pets to planters, five pets to beans, and ten million honey. So, if that's not a bang for your buck for four and a half thousand Robux, I don't know what is. This is an amazing bundle. It is definitely worth it, and especially for some mid-game players who don't mind uh, using a bit of their maybe Christmas money because this is Beesmas. They might have some Christmas money left over, and they really, really want to invest it on Beast Swarm. Uh, could get a gifted mythic, which is it could be quite useful because a lot of the gifted mythic abilities, well, at least Fuzzy Bee and Precise Bee and Buoyant Bee as well, actually. Uh, making way more use out of a single buoyant bay. Uh, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty good. For a, just to stick in your hive, not gonna lie. So, yeah, I believe this bundle is definitely worth it, and if you want, guys want to see me break down more bundles and make my, uh, brain sore just from having to do mindless calculations, they're not hard calculations, they're really, really easy, it just takes a long time because there's so many, like, multiplication, uh, sums that I have to do, even though I'm using a calculator, it's still annoying, but yeah, if you guys want to see any more breakdowns of, uh, any packs, if you want to see, like, any guides, just comment below and I'll break them down for you, so, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Don't know when that'll be, but see ya.